so I press this red button and then it goes on, does it? Oh, hello! Yes, it does! It's been a while since I've done this, so um, I'm out of practice of how to actually do YouTube videos. So, hello, welcome back. Um, thank you if you're still subscribed, and um, there hasn't been any real reason why I haven't done any videos. Just a case of I haven't been really picking up an awful lot of comics. I'm still subscribed to the likes of, um, you know, Star Wars, um, Turtles, etc, etc. So I'm not getting, you know, like about eight or nine comics each week. So there's nothing really to go over. But I had some stuff here that I wanted to go um, show you guys. And in my, one of my last videos, um, that was before that I did the Star Wars Battlefront stream, which was brilliant. So thank you, Millie, for coming and um, watching that. Um, and uh, to Stephen as well. Um, so thank you. Um, yeah, so I <coughs> picked up a couple of um, Star Wars things, as many people do, like this t-shirt, which is obviously Darth Vader. Um, yeah, so I had to pick that up. Um, there's a magazine over here called Empire, and they do they had two different covers. So they had this one, which kind of folds outwards like a lot, and you can see the Falcon there. And so you have that one, you have BB-8 there as well, so I had to pick that up, and then you have this one, which is the villains. So you got Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma, and then people are going like, Oh, you got new stormtroopers, no stormtroopers in there, it's not right. And it's like, oh my god, it's a picture, shush. I also picked this up, um, I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, but the Star Wars one was quite expensive. So um, I managed to get this at a good price, so I thought I would pick it up and this is doing my favourite movie, which is <laughs> The Making of Return of the Jedi. Um, so um, it kind of goes through, you know, like so it shows you like pictures and there's things to do. Oh, sorry. There's things to do with, um, oh, look at that. Little Ewoks and clipboard. Blue Harvest. Yes. Um, so it's a, you see like alterations to the script and things like that, you know, so you, you um, let's see if I can find one here. Of course I, I should have been a bit more pre prepared. Um, yeah, so there's scenes here to do with like uh, Luke and Ben and um, things like that and just like you know, that's what Admiral Akbar was going to look like. Um, I don't know what he ended up looking like. So I picked up that. I have yet to really go through it and read it. Um, I also got, um, if anyone is, like, Mr. Michael Lacey knows of this, so I don't know how many Americans know of it, but it's a show called Thunderbirds. Um, so this is a complete guide to the classic series, which kind of just goes through, you know, like all the... Um, t the episodes and things like that, like Moving Your Dead, where Alan, Tracy and Grandma are stuck on a bridge with a bomb, and if he moves, then he dies. Um, so there's things like that. It's a really cool magazine. The only price thing was the price, which was £10, which was a bit expensive for a magazine. Although I did get this, which is Thunderbirds The Vault, which was fifteen ninety nine. So, you know, this again goes through the likes of the Thunderbirds, you know, so things like that. Um, we've also got um, synopsis there of the TV program, things that came out for it, you know, so we've got Thunderbirds, give a show projector, 112 complete slides, 16 complete stories. So obviously this is like celebrating 50 years, you know, so it's been around for a while. Um, so, yeah. Um, in my last video, I asked, you know, like, what kind of collection did you guys want to see next? And quite a few people said Walking Dead. So I thought I would show that. Now, I don't have, like, a lot of Walking Dead. I have some, but not, you know, like, I don't have, like, issue one or whatever, or, you know, like, some of the really older issues. So I'm just going to go through and show you what I have. So obviously, it all started whenever my good friend Natalie bought me Walking Dead Compendium for Christmas. Now... Anyone who has picked this up and felt the weight of this, this chronicles issues 1 to 48. It took me some time to get going through this. Um, sometimes I have to be in the mood, especially if I, I look at this 
and I always look at how much I've done rather than how much I have to do. Um, so I, I decided to get that there. And then, glutton for punishment here, decided, oh, I want to read more. I got Compendium 2, which again is big. This collects up to issue 96. So these are all the single issues that I have. So bear with me. Um, so I have the free comic book day, which has a story to do with Governor... Governor Tyrese um, Shone, if memory serves. I have issue 100, which is this cover here. I also have issue 115, second print signed by Charlie Adlard, which is on my wall, but I can't be bothered taking it down. Issue 109, I've obviously seen um, Charlie Adlard sign it, and they sign it on the gravestone, which is quite clever. Um, 110. 111 with the... Evil and Negan, 112, uh, 114 with, I think that's Jesus on the front, 115, uh, this is cover B, this is uh, celebrating 10 years of Walking Dead. I also got this one which was a PX previews exclusive from New York Comic Con, which you can see there the walkers eating uh, building says NYCC. Um, 119. Um, 121. What I put there? 122. 23. I just need to get laughing there. 126. With Carl and his chewed head, it looks like. 127. This one here was quite a price. Well, not that pricey, but it had like a lot of first appearances. So that's why the price of that goes up. You know what it's like these days? As soon as some, someone comes out and it's the first appearance of somebody, the price of it automatically goes up. Um, 128, which is better to shoot you sideways rather than that way. Uh, 129 130 131 Carl becoming like a welder 132 132 this is the liquid variant as well 133 34. I actually had two of these for some reason. I, I think I got one of these. I think I got one of them in the um, blind bag. <coughs> 135. 136. What are the titles? These are uh, 137. I don't want to show because it kind of gives a bit of a spoiler away if you don't read the comics and watch a TV show. So I'm not going to show that. Right, you just all fall. 138. 139. If you read the comics, you know what I'm talking about. 140. 141. 142. They all look happy. 143. 144, this is just called dot dot dot. 145, which is a cool cover. Very simplistic, but very easy. And the eye, 146. And the last one, 147. Um, if I knew where I put them, oh there. I also have four these here, which is volume 17, 18, 19, and 20. Yeah, I went a bit, whenever I was in London Film Comic Con, I bought the wrong two and then I had to buy the other two, which was a pain in the backside. But yeah, I just want to show, oh yeah, and I forgot, I also have this. 
I just didn't put it in context. That's oh, that's the size of it. This is um, the Walking Dead Artist Proof Edition. This is issue one. You can see how big it is compared to my head. So I'll show you here. It's, it's just so. Where that panel go? Yeah. So there's like Morgan in it and the sun. So it's it's just you know, even though it's black and white, it's just the it's just so beautiful to look at, it. especially with it being as big as it is, you know, like you're just seeing it magnified, really. I mean if you look at Rick there and just his facial expressions, how he goes from kind of laughing to Damn. So I'm right trying to read this backwards and can't really. Um There's a really cool one as well. For Rick with his gun. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off as well. Um, this was actually not that expensive. Obviously, artist edition things can go for a pretty penny. But this one here was only, I think it was £14. The recommended retail price is £19.99. So if you like having something unique in your collection, you know, like why not go for that for that price? So I'm put that in. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to Belfast Comic Con at the end of the month, so I've got like some stuff set aside to get signed. Unfortunately, Tim Seeley, um, who did like Hack Slash and things like that, and was quite an integral part of the Human Masters of the Universe um, art book collection, has cancelled, which is a bummer. Um, and then there was another comic artist or a comic person who cancelled as well, which is never good whenever they cancel and the guests aren't as great as, like, they never are as great as London, but they're not as great as last year. Um, I think the biggest one is probably Margot Kidder, who played Lois Lane Superman, and uh, Carl Weathers, who was Apollo Creed. Um, obviously, that's, you know, like, a lot of people would know him from that, but I've got something different for him to sign. But I'm not going to tell you what. But yeah, I just thought I'd come on. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always. And until next time.